Yo, it's your man with the plan, Mark Solaris here, with another episode of Bayonetta 2. Last time we basically got introduced back to Bayonetta and looked like we were fighting with what her, was her mom, I think, maybe? It looked a lot like, looked, looked a lot like her and I'm pretty sure the time travel shit is not going to be in this game. Um, and we basically met all the old characters and we met Jean. And Jean got her ass grabbed down to hell, li literally. And now we're going to find a way to get her out of hell. <laughs> After she saved our ass last time. Oh, wait. Oh, this is regular menu. Okay, I, I can't go to the gates of hell yet from the start menu. <clears throat> All right, punch, 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 punch. I love it. Then punch, 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 kick. Ooh, ooh, stunt. No, no, cuz. All the comms are way easier to do in this game. Like I said, like I said last episode, if you missed it, I'm going to try a lot harder to do better with the weapons than combos, because I I know there's one weapon in this game I really want to use. I I know I set the swords really good in the last game, but I heard it's godlike in this game. I, that's all I know is in this game is a sword. The joint's supposed to be the link between Inferno and Paradiso. They say there is an entrance to Inferno, the gates of hell. Somewhere on this mountain. No one knows where though. Hell, no one even knows if it's true or not. Oh, you know this game is going to be true. Is worship like some god in the first place? Is that no one's ever been able to get close to the dead. Wait, what the fuck? Why? It's like it don't want you there. Every climber ends up so Are we going to Japan? Worse. And don't even try to fly a plane. Is that Japan? We're going to Japan, everybody. But at least oh no. What? Yeah, I won't get drunk tonight. Oh dear. Oh god, you're a heavy drinker. Maybe I should. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get drunk. He's such a heavy drinker. He's gonna bankrupt me. Actually, no. I remember I got the print. I get to print my own money. So I'll do good then. Oh shit. Help! I got captured by a lesbian. I mean, that's not really a bad thing, is it? She'll treat you well. I didn't know the in-flight service was exclusive to fat Italians. Oh, that's racist. That reminds me, you owe Alex the kid for the charter. Oh my god, Sega references out the ass. Wow. They just throw references everywhere. They just slid that reference in there, not gonna say nothing. Wow. Title Clark drop. There it is. That's and how is he driving a plane without having his hands in control? Such a bad place when you look at it. Oh, but you gotta have a death wish to get close to that damn place if you ask me. Wow. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Ugh. But I'm a heavy drinker. Still. Ugh. What the hell? Where did these clouds come from? Oh, that's an angel, isn't it? How the fuck did she do that? She she basically stomped the plane to go to different directions. Is that what she did? Sorry, Enzo. This is where I get off. Say hi to the wife and kids. Ah, fuck your kiss. <laughs> that bad nice kiss. Like, little, little does he know that that kiss basically is a dismantling spell. Wait, that score got more bling than I got. What the fuck? That score got some serious bling. Jeez, and my bling ain't even gold. It's silver. Fuck. <laughs> well, literally, it's silver. Have you ever seen me? Like, have you ever get to see me? I have a lot of silver jewelry on. Sometimes. I'm on my way. Just behave yourself for a bit longer. It's not even really silver. It's like steel. Well, not a lot. I have it on sometimes. Because sometimes I look like a gang. I have sometimes I look like a gang member. Sometimes I want to look like a. Uh, a, a nice and classy dude, and sometimes I want to look like a stripper. You know, everybody gets their own little taste. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. It looks way better than the first game. Remember how ugly the water was in the first game? That murky mess. Oh, first treasure chest. Let's open it up. 
Uh, yes, that was overpowered lollipop. Suck it good. All right. Oh, uh, it automatically puts it on your wheel. Okay, what does the menu look like, actually? Let me see what that looked like. Oh, okay. Okay, it looks interesting. Uh, what's that? Accessories? Like a lollipop. Oh my god, this is so much more clean than it was before. Like, it, it was sucked last time. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. I bet there's something in that water. I'm not going to lie. There's probably some type of treasure chest or something in that water. Shit. I, I, can't, I wouldn't put past Bayonetta. But I, I'm not going to look. I'm gonna look. I'll probably do it off screen if I see it. Wow. Bayonetta and its environments are still blowing me back. Holy shit. I forgot about this place. And I haven't seen this place already. I think I ended somewhere in the middle of the chapter with my little trial. But... I didn't realize how beautiful this place was. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot it looked this nice. Probably because I had a shitty TV or something, I don't know. Oh my god. You know what it is? Another book. We're gonna fucking read this Let's Play, boys. It's gonna be one fourth reading, one third reading like it was last with Let's Play. Uh, what, wait, what the fuck was that? Alright, what was that? Uh, Journal Echoes. Oh, I missed one. Fuck. Where did I miss that at? Have you ever... Have uh, It's not Luca's father, so a different voice. I just, I'll just say it in my voice. Have you ever heard of the gates that connect the world? It might as be as strange as fiction. But in truth, these gates exist all over the world we live in. The gate that connects the three worlds and makes the foundation of our own reality... Re oh, is relatively well known. So if you're reading this, I'll just go ahead and assume that you know of it. However, there are stories of doors that lead to sacred layers of the supernatural. I've got a great source who gave me information. I need to bring the, these things to light. I can't really reveal who my source is, but according to them, there's a gateway to loose the primordial world cut off from the flow of time called Moosepelhim. A place where f places full of demons, angels, witches, sages who spend their days pursuing nothing other than battle. This limitless world disregards the wounds of death of yesterday, always breathing life into the warriors so they may live to fight another day. What? So you know stories about some guy who suddenly disappears and is gone for months and then reappears out of thin air, as if nothing has happened? There's a large probability that guy accidentally stepped into Moon's Moon spell him. Wait, is that something different than the um Purgatory? Is that Purgatorium? Is that what they're trying to say? Is that it's a completely different world? And somehow found his way back. I know that my job as a journalist is to explore and cover the truth behind rooms like this, but as traveling, but as far as traveling to other dimensions in a state of endless war, I'm good for now. Oh, is this Luca? This has to be fucking Luca's. There's no way. But first, I think I, I think I did miss a journal back here. Let me get that really quick. <laughs> That's probably what I missed. I'm like, I'm missing something. <laughs> Unless I'm, unless I'm supposed to go somewhere else. There's gotta be a journal back here. Oh, let me see how it feels when I go inside people. Ugh. I went right inside you, boy. How does that feel? Oh my god, I think somebody just went inside me, dude. It felt so good. I've never felt experience like that before. New beginning. View. Oh, so you do. Oh my god. So, eh. And then go to the... Oh, fuck. <laughs> so it's a little different than it was last game. It doesn't just... You don't have to press A. I keep on pressing A to open up the journal. It wasn't A or it was something else. All right. A new beginning. For reasons I will not get into here, I've dedicated my life to searching the truth of the Umber Witches. Oh, it is, Luca. You can even say I sacrificed the best years of my life pursuing, pursuing this story. My sexiest years. I can't... Dude, I, I missed... I didn't have sex with nobody for... for for 10 years and now look at me I'm I'm 30 and I just have average sex now fuck me why did I waste my time with this shit working backward from the, these legends these women left behind my search took me to Vidgrid okay this is Vidgrid is it no it's not a town in the remote hills of Europe the witches once called home I end up getting myself involved with a crazy tale of my own while at Vidgrid I'm thinking about getting published published one of these days the details We'll have to wait for paying customers. My fascination with the witches 
has not waned far from it, but something new has captured my inquisitive eye. A story even greater depths called to me. I had to know more about the true source behind the power of sage and witch alike. I grew re restless before long, and I found myself back in the investigative trail. It wasn't long before I found my found the very place I referenced in a quiet ancient scripture. A quiet town nestled in between a sea and mountain. No return. Not five minutes into the, in the town, I was shocked to see something that confirmed my suspicions. And behold, there was nothing less than statues that picked me familiar form of sage and witch. Statues that were second to none, even when compared to those in Vidigrid. What? Okay, I'll probably see him in a second, huh? Alright, let's go. So that's fucking Luca. It has to be. He's like, he's talking to him. He's, he, he's like, there's too many hints there. Oh, can I talk to people now? Oh, as long as I'm in Purgatorio, I can't... Okay, this, so this, she's, this is still called Purgatorio. I was about to say I was getting confused for a second there. At least you can interact with the people here. That's something for fucking one in everyday lives, yada yada yada. You ain't fucking ever up anybody's day yet, Bale. <laughs> oh, is there something up here? And then I can go to Gates of Hell. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I knew there was something over here. There's a lot more of these, aren't there? What is that? I was like herb lollipop. Ah, I thought it was gonna be so. That, so these treasure chests now they have they have dud treasure chests now, like treasure chests that don't have shit in them anymore. Ooh, what's oh it's a rose lollipop. Tiny candy will increase will temporarily lose some attack power. Okay, so I got I got I got the starter kit basically. All right, let's keep on going and let me go to see Rodon. Whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck he's doing. Oh, uh, enter moon spell him. Oh, what? What the fuck is this place? This, this is the place they said in that book. Oh dear, I'm about to get my ass kicked. Uh What the fuck? Welcome to Moonspell. Land of origin, gather the place of true warriors. You can hear you touch your skill in different challenging battles. And if fulfill each victory. Oh, it's basically the challenge circle areas. You know what? Uh, I I don't know if I'm gonna get my ass kicked by these yet. I these are actually pretty pretty diesel. Even though this game is easier to ban another one, I'll come back for this one. <laughs> that that place is crazy looking. That's pretty too. And this this screen right here is pretty too. Oh my god, the dude. I love this game's background environment. Like, this is what when I was playing Final Fantasy XV with my free time. I figured I figured it would look a lot like this game did, and it, like graphically, like I thought it looked a lot more magical. Like, honestly, I'm not a biggest fan of games that look like they are re placed in real life, because it's just like I'm a, I'm a, I I go out every day in real life. It's like why would I want to go somewhere that reminds me of every every other place I go out in real life for? Okay, I am lost. Oh, I, can, I forgot I can go underwater. There's another fucking treasure chest. Ooh, open it up. Ooh, a heart! Yes! Oh, it's a broken rich heart, though, so I don't get the full HP boost or whatever. Oh, these fucking portals. Whoa. Holy shit. I love this game. Oh, that chipmunk! Is that a person? That's when he had all bling on. I I see you, game. Another fucking book. Reading reading rainbow in this bitch, guys. All right, let's show you a favorite book. I love this book because it it talks about candies and chocolate and candy canes. I just love this book. A dump dump. <laughs> all right, fragments of memory. All right, view. <laughs> Strange events sometimes work their way into our everyday lives. Stories abound. Flashbacks from places you have no memory of as a kid suddenly start speaking a foreign tongue. For, oh, sorry. So before him, our kids who start speaking a foreign tongue or a voice in your head that starts end up saving your life. The list goes on and on. There, uh, I'll talk a little bit more like him. These are said to happen when people come in contact with the remnants of memory left in the world by God. Which is Jubileus, right? God is Jubileus. They better not retcon that. The god of the human realm has special... Oh, they're different gods. What the fuck? 
Okay, let me stop making like like random screams and like just like read the rest of this. The god of the human realm has special eyes that can see the existence of all the happenings across Earth. They could see the fate of whoever they gazed their uh, their pet their gazed upon their present, past, and future. Everything. God loved the human world, and his kind head, heart began to feel sadness for mankind. So he decided to commit to memory every detail of the fleeting lives, almost like you take a photo. He ended up doing it so much that he eventually forgot about them. What? And he forgot about, and, and he left the records where these records were left scattered across the earth. These are known as remnants of memory. They are usually, they usually can't be seen or felt, but the truth is these memories could be anywhere. You could be standing within God's memories right now. What the fuck is he talking about? Okay, I can't be looking around for all these books and shit. How did I already miss two books? I just look for them off screen and you guys, will, I'll read it to you guys later. I feel like I'm missing shit. Like, you know how big that area is and how much I gotta search for those books? And there's another book! Oh my god! <sighs> Whoo! Just throwing them all at me at once. Sometimes, sometimes you come across something that you lost long ago is untouched. Found exactly what it is when it lost. When exactly what it is. What? Oh my god. Found exactly as it is when it's lost. Almost like ancient towers frozen in time from after volcanic eruptions. Sometimes children even discover these ruins while playing. When I arrived here, I was circling around the harbor, doing some research, and I happened to hear a story from local fishermen. There seemed to be large pools of water around the city. About the city. These ruins containing statues of witches and stages, and the god that gave them their powers. They say that there were devastating tsunami that hit the city long ago and cracked the very foundation, causing the water to seep in, creating a vista you see today. It'll be interesting to take into taking a peek at these ruins before they completely crumble away. But I'm not going in the water at this time of the year, freezing cold. That being said, I know a wish that probably wouldn't think twice about dancing her way into freezing water, though. I, I might come back after it warms up a little bit. Make a little vacation out here. Yep, that's the plan. Girls in swimsuits, getting money, getting bitches. <laughs> you know how it is. All right. I oh, I love how I do their guns all glow different colors last time. That's really cool. Even though the purple one is not really glowing that much. All right. Oh, my God. Just activate your... Now I want you to activate the pan panther. Bayo. Ah. <laughs> Tomorrow's mine. Ah. They're slicing me up like a fucking cheesecake. <laughs> Ooh. Eat it up like a steak, boys and girls. Oh! You had to penetrate me with no consent like that? No, 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 no. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> okay, unicorn horn. Gotta get that nice unicorn horn. Woo! Ah! You thought you were gonna get away with that? I'm a bad bitch. You can't hurt me. You can't scare me. Oh, what did I just get? Oh, I got the probably the like the yellow version, whatever. The uh. I forgot what it's called, the yellow material you can fuse shit with. The Magnagoria root. Yep, and that's for... That's for concocting healing items. <laughs> Damage. I got a gold medal. <laughs> I got a Rodan medal. <laughs> can I not do the cat underwater? I feel like I can't do it. It's like... Oh, I don't think I can do the cat underwater. Weird. That's what it is, I think. I'm like, I'm trying to do the cat and it's not activating. It's another one of these fucking portals. Oh my god, is this game shorter than the last one? I feel like I'm in, there's a lot of portals and shit. You're the... This is so weird. Wow! Who said I could go to Atlantica in this game? I just have to sing. I don't have to sing under the sea no more. Or uh, no, swim this way, dance and we'll play. <laughs> that song is the worst song ever. Two green lollipops. Lick it, lick it, lollipop. 
I don't think you get I don't think you get penalized for using items in this version of the game. I don't think. Oh, there's the gates of hell. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Underwater. I can't use the cat. Oh shit. What? Oh my god. Ooh, fuck, she stabbed me in the ass. He penetrated me. No consent. Ugh. Die. I kind of miss her kinky attacks, though. I don't know, maybe they totaled it down because Nintendo was like, Okay, you guys went a little too far with the attacks in the last game. Or maybe I just haven't hit the kinky attacks yet. They made her ass bigger, though. I mean, just I'm not always looking. I'm just saying they literally did make her ass bigger, though. I'm like, it was not that big. <laughs> no, another Radon and Bayonetta scene. Yo, I love these. Oh my god, he's gonna come out of it like vampire. Senator don't get paid enough for this shit. When Ed and Edna found that daddy wasn't coming back, made me stay all the way through dinner. Don't man. You weren't delighted. I love undercooked I eggs, man. Wife makes a lovely casserole. It was damn good. I give you that. You fucked Enzo's wife? No, I mean, almost did. I mean, ah, uh, fuck. Quite well. They found plenty of playmates here. Figured they would. Noah Tune had some deep connections with Thimbleventer in the gates of hell back in its day. Wouldn't be surprised to find a few of those playmates that like it rougher than the typical bunch. Oh, you know, I love it the roughest out of everyone. Just make sure you keep bringing me these halos. And remember. I ain't here to get up in your business. My business is making things that do business. So don't come crying to me when you... Don't make me pop a cap in your ass. <laughs> you think you gotta do everything alone? I'm here to help. Just make sure you don't bust a cap in my ass. Oh my god, they... They did it. No. <laughs> Dude, the throwbacks are surreal. I'm like, I'm like, I was like, this is a perfect mem this is a perfect moment to reference that the bust your cap in your ass scene. I'm like, he's like, he's like, oh, remember that time you had the you tried to fuck you fucking threaten me with my with my own hood language? Oh yeah, I remember that. That was so that was so weird. <laughs> I remember I was such a badass when I did that. What happened to me? Ten years later, and I'm still. I'm a little bit more rusty than I was before. What the fuck? I thought I was supposed to live forever. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the gates of hell. We've lit our prices on fire, so there won't be hell to pay. <laughs> Come on. I gotta say some cheesy shit sometime. I mean, you always say cheesy shit. Seriously. What's just wrong with people in this town? They think they're so cool, but I'm the only cool one around. The symbols of grace is the hottest item. Yeah, yeah. He he basically tells you what to fucking spend your money on. Oh, you're kind of weak. Come, oh, wait. Oh, there's weapons. Okay, accessories. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's the same one that activates witch time automatically, but uses your magic. Moon a lot. Okay, it looks like a lot of the same shit for that one. Let me see my techniques. Heal slide after burner kick. Uh, Soletto. Okay, those are all the same. Wish Strike, the same. Wish to is Heal Tornado, Break Dance, Bat Within. This is so important. I didn't realize how important this shit is right here. Use this. Eat it. Buy it. Do whatever you gotta do. Wipe your ass with it. This is the best thing ever. If you're gonna survive Bayonetta, use the fucking Bat Within. <laughs> if you watch my last Let's Play, even if you don't watch my last Let's Play, let's, let's play oh my god, use the fucking Bat Within. It will save your fucking life. Oh, there was practice mode. Yes. Oh my god. You know how hard it was to practice when you had no practice mode in Bayo One. I I don't think there was one because I bought all the moves and I wanted to practice some of my shit. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I got my combos down. I'm getting them. Ugh. All right, it's time to continue where we left off. Uh, holy shit! What the fuck? Um, hello, quick time. Oh, about to say, you see that PTSD coming through? 
And I can't fucking use my panther. Oh my god, this is nightmare fuel. If you guys, anybody who is aquaphobia, that sucks. Like, that, that right there is gonna freak you the fuck out. He's just gonna come by and try to fuck up my day and then, like, just leave me here? Just like a fucking angel. <sighs> I was just coming by just to fuck with me and then just leave me there. <sighs> Ugh! Knock, knock, motherfuckers! Ah, uh, it's really quiet here. There's not even people here. Oh, because I went through the, that underground water place. This must be a different place or something. Oh, there's people here. Okay, what to say. Cascade foregrounds. Oh my god, this world is a lot, this is a lot more open worldish than it was last time. And the gates of hell are everywhere too. Wow, they really changed how things work in this game. Other than her combat, which is for some reason it's exactly the fucking same. Almost. Oh, wait. Can I get out of Paradiso? Check. Seems to be the real umber resting place where it, where it existed in the past. Had to collect each of the broken pieces while it remembers time is still visible. What? Oh, uh, what the fuck? This better be something good. All right. This better be something fucking good. This is some. This is weird. All right, and then this. All right, one piece. This is One Piece. -u. This is One Piece. The story of fucking One Piece in a nutshell. <laughs> this kitty. One Piece is really not a piece of treasure. I don't think yet. Nobody knows. At the time of making this video, nobody knows what fucking One Piece is. And then. Ugh, look at that. Okay, this better be a weapon or something delicious. I'd be mad if it isn't. The broken pieces are restored. That coffin too is <laughs> talking like porky pig. <laughs> oh no! Let me get my fucking chest. Don't fork fucking lock me out of it. I didn't know this was a cutscene. Oh yes, it's my favorite time of day. Oh not. Oh my god, that kid's badass. <laughs> Bayonetta's like, oh yes, I love it. I love it with, how, with the way kids grow up this day and age. They're just so, they're so knowledgeable and so respectful. And so badass. Dude, why does dude sound like the guy from um, Metal Gear Revengeance? Uh, what's his name? Uh, George. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My name is George, yeah. <laughs> Shit. I'm never going to reach Fimble Vent at this rate. Well, at least it won't be a boring trip. Damn. You Dude, is that ass? Yes, it's my ass. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Ah, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, that's a girl? Oh no, that's no, that's a boy. Okay, oh, that's what I thought. You'll have to do better than that to earn a tip, my dear. Who the hell are you? I'm just an innocent little girl lost in Wonderland, suffering at the hands. You're not a girl. You're a grown ass woman. Me like you. <gasps> Oh no, he's got the anime forgetfulness shit. So, are we heading to Fimbleventer on a shopping trip for mummy, little one? Why is he so jumpy? She told me never to talk to strangers. Stay out of my way or I'll make sure you never get in it again. What is that card going to do to me? And she throws out a pillar and just fucking explodes. Oh shit. That's that's cool. Cool I could get one. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. This don't worry about it. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. <laughs> Am 
My favorite card is Dark Magician Girl. I keep that for special reasons. Everything else, it was fair game. <laughs> Accolade. I have to figure out a voice for that boy. Because I already using the semi-British voice for Bayonetta. I have to figure it out that one. I'll figure it out. Dude, they're facing me against the same enemy so far. They ain't, they ain't put, bringing out the big guns yet. Oh, shit! Oh my god, it's so much easier to see why you're fighting as as Bayonetta in this game. Like, seriously. Ah, fuck, he donkey kicked me hard, too. I meant to get the big one, but, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. Ugh, eat it up. Oh my god, he shield bashed me. Fuck this guy. I hate when enemies do that kind of shit. Combo breaker, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, I can't dodge that arrow attack or whatever. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Is that all you got? <laughs> Ooh, I clawed you. Kitty got claws. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, eat it up like a stink. Strip dance. Oh, fuck. This reminds me of uh, I love I love games that have like, like battle like fun ass battle systems. Like games don't do that a lot. Even even a lot of like high class games this day and age don't do it. Like they just they just make you do the same attack the whole game, the same ten attacks. It's like which don't it sounds like a lot of options, but after you play it for like twenty hours, it gets really old fast. Purple Butterfly, Magical Power, Revise with Magical Power, when it ends up Tain, yada yada yada. Let me get all the shit on here. Ooh, I got a spear. Oh, fuck! See, you Bat Within got me right there. See, that saved my ass. <clears throat> Cut you in half. Bruh, I love it. Oh, yes. F drop it low. Drop it real low, really quick. You already know how it works, darling. I love shit like that. I just drop it on everybody. And well, not just anybody. <laughs> Alright, let me go get my prize. I almost forgot about it. What is, why does the stage have the mu music like a movie trailer? Loki. Oh, another broken witch heart. Wow, all that for another broken witch heart. Which is not, it's a big deal, but it's really not. <laughs> Another book. Ah, let me get this thing right here. We got an LP, boys. Angelic Hymns, Gold LP, Interest the Gladiators. Golden LP featuring the crystal voices of angels, some sort of shroudless drowning on the surface. All right, let's go to Gates of Hell. Oh my god. Bale, uh, do I smell what I smell on you? Oh, fuck no. All the succubuses and the tentacle monsters and the gambling assholes and the drinkers. You know how many assholes I had to deal with to deal with this shit? <laughs> Looks like you found a good reason to visit. Man. You know, I'm all about them angelic hymns, gold LPs. Angels in agony are pretty much my slow jams. Oh, they're angels. And the demons will be lined up to get down. Lucky for me, I got a few jams of my own cooking that'll need a little demon kick to finish them off. That LP is just what the doctor ordered. Hmm. I hand it over, and I'll go get my swerve on. Oh, God. What does that say on my that record? Oh, my God. This is Ashley. Fuck. That's my ex-wife. I thought you and Ashley never got married. Man, we did, and then shit happened. Ugh. Dude. Oh, fuck. Man, she took the house and the kids, and now she fuck with me like this. I wanna listen to reason, but it's all good, cause neither did I put him to work. Man, Ashley got them claws still. Fuck. He never told me what type of species is Ashley actually supposed to be. Man, she's part succubus, part vampire, part ver werewolf. Wow, you're the kinky shit. I know, right? Raksasa. Wait, this is Rakshasa? Ooh. Let me use Rakshasa. Damn. 
If only Ashley had to ask like you. Are, are you even sure she even has something of uh, close to an ass? I think she does. Did you have kids with her? Yeah. Then how the fuck you don't know? I it was really dark in that room. Okay. That was that's very insightful about you, Rodan. Something else I just didn't really want to know about you. Oh, I still got the spear. Oh, that's great. All right, time to go in this relic. Wait, what? It's different than usual. Uh, how does relic work? Oh, check it. Like the moon reflects, I feel my magic power increasing when I approach the object. I'm able to control gravity with this even during the daytime. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's this thing again. Oh no, which one is this gonna be? What? Oh, it's this cool ass looking one without the head. Oh my god, I've probably killed like three of you so far. His hair, heads on the sword. Bayo, don't be aggressive. Oh shit, it's you. He's like, dude, what the fuck? I was going to ask you out for a date. I'm sorry, you guys are ugly as fuck. Actually, you look a little bit better than the usual one. What's up with you being so aggro against the angels, Bayo? You didn't have to fight him? Villains. Oh, and... Ooh, I like the way he fights, though. I love... Oh, wait. Actually... Actually, when I do that, let me go switch to my lethals. Ugh, time to go crazy. Ugh, yeah, go crazy. Ah, uh, 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 go crazy. What? I can have feet. I can have swords on my feet and my legs. Oh my goodness! Rakshasa. Oh fuck. Ooh. Or do I just have nothing on my feet? Is that all it is? Ugh. Bruh! The swords are OP! Um... Is that me shooting that shit? Or is that him? It's all these little meteor... Um, these little grenades and shit. Umber and Plymax. Ooh! Ooh! Kill him! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm eating this boy up like a fucking steak! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't trust you. Ugh, eat it up. So close. Oh my god, his wish time does not last that long. Is there some way to extend the power for wish time? <laughs> Umbre climax. Ugh, die. Oh, it's a different one. All right, let me see which one this is. Oh, it's Madama Butterfly. Ooh! Oh my god! No! That movement! I never... <laughs> I just realized what that movement she was doing is. I'm like, what is she doing with a sword? I'm like, oh god! That's... Oh, what? I hear you, boy. Alright, let me see how the... Okay, I like how... Okay. I don't know the point of having... What's the difference between having guns on my feet and having swords in my hand? In my, on my feet. They seem like they're exactly the same. Okay, it's not exactly the same. Okay. Okay, there's another gate, a realm. I have, to, I have to do those later. I was like, they seem like they would be all different, but they're not. So the angels do heavy ass damage though. Even though they're easier to dodge, they do a lot more damage. Another fucking oh, it's the mega lollipop. Okay. Crap! Fuck! Ah, oh, dude! Shit! Oh my god, I could have got that.
We are fabulous! Catch it in compassion. Hey, Bayo. You look so fabulous today. Oh, I'm doing pretty good today, compassion. I have to kick your ass today, I know. It's, it's the usual. <laughs> Just don't kill me, okay? I have, I have money to make. Making, do, have to make some money later, okay? <laughs> I know, I know, compassion. <laughs> your bosses are kind of being dicks today. Oh, I know, they always are. <laughs> like, seriously, I know. I always ask for time off when you're on the job. Oh, I know, it's... It's nice for them, it'll be nice for them to actually give you time off. Instead of letting you get their face bashed in every single time. I know, right? My face can only take so much. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a raven right there. Can I get it? Can I, like... Oh, my God. You're still as annoying as you usually are. Fuck that bird. I ain't even gonna try. You have to get a hundred of them even before I'm gonna do anything, I think. Ah, oh, fuck. There we go. Be something delicious in here. As oh, a moon pearl crystal, yes. I can't get free. I can't get free. So after you too, then. Have you Ew, is that pig monster? Keeping secrets from mummy. Nope. Nothing comes to mind. I mean, no, I'm not. You're not my mummy. I mean, oh, mummy, it hurts so bad. Kiss my boo boo. Okay, don't make it weird. Whatever, love. You've already been following me, so let's make a deal. You save me, I'll show you around this joint. Heading to Fimbleventer, aren't we? That makes two of us. And it'll take two of us, won't it, love? You seem to have skipped school the day they taught basic negotiation skills. School doesn't teach us shit. <laughs> negotiate from a position of strength, little one. Aww. Uh, what? Well, you're just gonna throw it in the water like that, Bayo? That could be important. Um, fuck that trick. See? You need my power too. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought we said we were gonna use our weapons yet. It's negotiation. No. Negotiation, I said, from strength, right? Fuck. <laughs> you're right. Before I show you the way, love, you gotta agree to a little condition. Okay, what type of website bullshit are you gonna have to see? What type of fine print? First, learn to talk to a lady. We don't react very well to being insulted, little one. Well then, I don't react to being called little one. The name's Loki. And oh, I don't, I really don't trust you now. I mean, I've watched the Marvel movies. I'm only a ten. I'm only five fifty thousand. I mean, I'm only five hundred years old. Well then, Bayonetta, it is. Let's move, little one. Hey, I just told you my name is. You'll earn your name when you become a man. And you're not gonna. And you're not gonna be touching me. Number one, that's illegal. Number two, you don't even have what it takes, even if you could. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're kind of rude. I mean, you you are pretty rude when you just threw your cards and shit at me. I didn't say shit to you. Or oh, I think I got a book earlier too. Let me read those two books I found. All right, the journal echoes. Oh my god, I got so many books, and it's only um, it's a, I mean, it's a lot of books. There's, I heard there's 15 chapters in this game, or a little bit around that time. It's a lot of shit for books I in this one chapter. New town is full of ruins and a strange sculpture is run down by time. Most of them having lost has fallen to pieces. Yet these ruins are still said to be of strange connection to the god of chaos. For example, that ramp looking object in front of the city's church is said to be a hidden path that once led to the god's home. Or I was told by some old guy that walked by as I looking at the ramp. He said those chosen would be able to walk the walls. Not all 
Not the most reliable source, of course, but I'll take it. <laughs> because I am a, I'm a glutton for neglect. <laughs> He, is, he must have been able to tell if I was from out of town by seeing how intently I was staring at things. Or by the way I was fucking dressed, but you know what? I, I, my perception about how I dress is, I'm always fabulous. <laughs> With my fucking out-of-color scarf. Maybe I just used to, used to be able to control gravity. Maybe this used to be able to control gravity. Only if I knew the sin of those chosen ones. I'd love to ask him about it. A brilliant church is centered in Nocturna. It's aged gracefully, maintaining a beauty as unfazed by the passage of time. Its value is not only sentimental, but the people living in the city made regular visits to the church for a prayer. N new, new pa oh my god, I don't know what that is. New, new, pa new apostles and funerals. However, word has it long ago that it served as another purpose. Pilgrims chosen by God will stop by the church to find a way to the seek the peak of F Fumblevere. Fumble, I got, I can't say that. Fumble, Fumble, Velter is Fumble Velter. Pure viding themselves in the waters that flow through the hollow grounds. While the road to the summit is lost, the holy water continues to flow, purging the impurities of those who bask in it. After running, after ruining a perfectly good pair of shoes, I say my feet are pure enough for one lifetime. All right. All right, I think this is actually a good place to end this episode, honestly. Oh my god, there's another book right there. Yep, this is probably a good place to end this episode. Shut the fuck up! Um, if you like my content, leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't matter which one. This helps me know you guys are watching. And also hit the subscribe button and a little bell icon to join the rebellion. And share this fucking video. Please. I, did, I, I put a lot of work in them. Please. And I will see you guys in the next video and or stream. Bye-bye.